What's going on? Today we're going to learn Father and Son by Cat Stevens. This one shouldn't take you too long because there's only two parts to learn. Make sure to check out my 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. And with that, let's get into it. Okay, so this part is going to be the intro and the break. This part's played a few parts of the song. Obviously, you can identify where they are pretty easily. So it's a bit of a funky riff here. We're going to start with what's technically a G chord, but just playing this third finger on the third fret of the sixth string. And then you're just going to strum. I find this strum works best if you try and not pick that first string very much if you can avoid it, but don't be too worried about it. But it sounds better without that first string there. And then you go. So down, down, up. And then on that second one, you're going to hammer on with your first finger on the first fret of the second string and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Basically a C chord with this low sixth string note instead. So you're going to do... So that end there is just a hammer on. So you're going to play that, then you're going to move up here to the 5th fret on the 3rd string, then you're going to play... So 5th fret on the 3rd string, to 3rd fret on the 1st string. Then back to the 5th. And then the 5th fret on the 1st string. There's that riff. And you're going to put both parts together. And you're going to play that part three times. And then on the fourth time, you're just playing that first half. And there's that whole section. Okay, so now moving into the other part of this song, the part played in the verses. Now the song doesn't actually have any choruses, it's just four verses. But we've got verse 1 and 3 that are played the same, and verse 2 and 4 that are played the same. So we're going to start on a G chord and learn our strum. That's all there is to it. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Super simple, super easy, the most basic strumming pattern you can have. It's nice and slow and nice and simple. And all we're going to do is change that strumming pattern on a bunch of different chords. So this one, like a lot of old songs, has a ton of different chords. Lyrics and chords are in the description of this video. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to follow along if you look at those in the description below this video and follow along with me as I'm saying it. With that being said, verse 1 is going to have 8 chords. The first 4 are going to be G, D, C, and A minor 7. And then the second four are going to be G, E minor, A minor 7, and D. So you're just going to play the strumming pattern once on each of these eight chords before switching. And right there, there's your entire verse 1 and 3. Just eight different chords, really simple strumming, shouldn't take you too much practice at all. The toughest part's just going to be memorizing those chords. So that's all there is to it for verse 1 and 3. Then verse 2 and 4 is going to be a lot more complicated chords-wise. The strumming pattern is going to be exactly the same as verse 1 and 3, but this time we've just got a lot more chords. This one is going to be the toughest part of this whole song to do, is to memorize these chords. 
So just follow along with those chords and lyrics in the description. A lot of times work on memorizing it four chords at a time, and then eventually you'll memorize the full progression. But this part is going to give you the most trouble. So don't worry if it takes you a while to memorize it. It took me a while to memorize it too. So when you're following along with this, it's easiest to break it into four chord chunks. And you can see that we've got 16 chords and then the ending. The first and third chunk are the same, and then the second and fourth chunk are almost the same. So what I mean by this is the first four chords are G, B minor, C, and A minor 7. Then we've got four more chords, and then that G, B minor, C, A minor 7 is going to repeat. The only other important thing to note before we go through it is that at two parts in this verse, on the fourth chunk of chords and at the very end, we're gonna play the chords for only half a bar, and we're gonna go down, down, up on both chords. So those sections will look like this. So you can see you got that half time switch. So you'll see this as I play it through, but just be aware of that. That's gonna be the only parts in this verse that are played differently. So with that being said, I'm just gonna play the full thing for you. The actual playing is not that difficult. It's just the order of the chords that's gonna stump you. there you go, there's the full verse. So that's a lot of chords. Just work on it, four chords at a time, try and memorize that, break it into chunks, and it's just gonna help you a lot with the memorization. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. Please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments, it really does make a difference. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified of all my newest uploads and learn guitar a lot faster. I'll see you in the next video.